There we go. Welcome to Pirates, a return with us to the Golden Age of Buccaneering on the Spanish Main. Uh, start your career, please. Let's just get into it. Oh. Good thing I only have my best friends on WhatsApp. So I don't get bombarded by stupid videos or anything. Just my friends there. Because they never send anything uh, about pun anything about news. If they send a video, it's a stupid video of themselves doing something stupid. <laughs> well, hello all, hello all. And yes, there is no webcam because today is way too hot of a day for me to wear a freaking shirt. It went up to 31 cells yesterday. It's been the hottest day around in my area of the year. Spider-Man has no face and he must place it by his pirates. Uh, this is something like that. Just the biggest reason being that I don't want to wear a shirt. Because I would just completely drain out and get a headache and such because of it being too hot. Do you wish to select a special historical period? Hmm. Do I? He has no shirt because he must sweat. Well, that's more accurate. Yes. Ew, yes. Mm. I mean, like I already said, it's nothing to hide. Other than my face and from the webcam. Because I don't want to get banned. So it's better to have the webcam off than not do a stream. You know. Special historical period. I think I will take a special historical period. Uh, I don't remember which one is the easiest, which one's the hardest. <sighs> Let's see. What does the map say? Ding, 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 ding. Uh, 1940, there's a lot on the Caribbean islands. So 1940 would be best for... Well, I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> You're too sick. I'm too sexy for the stream. Too sexy for the stream. Too sexy. The, uh, that you cream? Uh, that's the only... <laughs> Whew, it's getting hot in here in a different way. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, a couple of bodies in 1620 on the uh, Caribbean islands. But in 1940, a lot of them appear there. And then there's on the Hispaniola and then other places that they don't appear on those. I don't know. Did I say 1940? 1640. What am I talking about? <sighs> Silver Empire, merchants and smugglers. <laughs> yeah, step one, Silver Empire. Step two, merchants and smugglers. Step three, uh, step four, profit. Well, Silver Empire is the, the one of the worst. The, the last one and the first one are the hardest ones. Because there are barely anything happening in the 1560 and pretty much everything's yeah, quieting, quieting down in 1680. 1660, prime time for pirates? Eh. Pretty much uh, these ones, uh, the, uh, the 2040 and 60 are the best years to play if you want to go for something. Hey there, Ubuntu. You came here looking for booty. Well, we will be getting some booty. What? 60 and 80 was when the crown sent pirate hunters to wipe out this practice. Yep. That's why it's called Pirates of Sunset. What's the advantage within 1620? New colonists, new cities. There's a lot more cities and towns, and towns around. Now 
1640, if I remember correctly, when it says war for profit, means that there's going to be a lots of conflict between uh, all the nations. So there would be like a war with constant war with like England being at war with Spanish and the uh, Dutch being war uh, with the French and uh, crossing all over, barely any allies anywhere. So it's, this is one. This war for profit is toughest for seafaring because there's going to be a lot of battles. I think it would. It could be easier. Let's go with sixteen twenty. Let's go with it. <sighs> hmm. Are you an English adventurer or un French Huguenot, un Dutch privateer or un Spanish renegade? I don't know what I'm un of. I mean, uh, the easiest, of course, is always the Spanish renegade because there's pretty much everything is Spanish. And easiest meaning that there's not going to be lots of sea battles here and there. That makes also the game hardest. It's pretty much the trading will be your best uh, route of getting money out of things. Or just going for pirating. But then again, this game is pirates. I usually go with uh, English adventure anyway. Because I will not be talking with a French uh, accent the whole time. No, thank you. So I'll, I'll just go with the English adventure. Although, because we're gonna be spitting few, so maybe I should have gone with something more exotic. What is your family name? What is your favorite color? Can you do a Dutch accent? Nope. Nope. That is a straight Naparino. Uh, what would be the family name? I, I don't want to put few, because that doesn't sound very British. Now, this is the last name that we're gonna have here, Goblin, not a full name. So that will be just Lacko Pants. <sighs> Maybe I should go with Spider. That's always, that's always, that always works. That, and you would have to run from most of the battles if you were French. Haha, <laughs> stereotypes. Ha ha ha, so freaking funny. Uh, what would be a good name? Certainly not Smith or Jones. I went, well, I went with English adventure. Few doesn't work with that. If I had taken a French Huguenot, then I could have been a few. Because it's an exotic name. Jenkins. Toad's not a pirate. Hmm. Jenkins is a good English surname. And then I will first name Leroy. Hey there, Specky. Desmond is a first name, not a last name. Actually, it, it can be a last name, too. What am I talking about? Hmm. I wonder if it fits. I'll go with Jenkins. I actually like that one. I shall be a journeyman. Or should I just start as an apprentice? Start with easy and go from there. Let's go with easy. With some... Apprenticeship. Which special ability do you have? Uh, that gives me five years extra life. Uh, usually I take navigation because uh, you will go faster in the... Uh, you always pick fencing. Eh, that is good to have too, but navigation is more important because you will not crash in shallow water so often, and also you can go faster against the wind. What does wind and charm do? Uh, you get better 
chances with the governor's daughters and uh, better information about your lost family or treasures. Uh, get lower prices and high, well, lower prices to buy and a higher prices when you sell. And also, the governors uh, look up to you a little bit more, and you might get the what's the uh, what's the uh, thing letter. You can get the letter of mark from uh, the governors easier. So, wit and charm is a good thing to have, but it is not the most important thing. So I'm gonna go with navigation, so we can sail a lot better. He couldn't go with that last name, he, Goblin, he's not a Texas Ranger. Ah, Walker. Mm. True. Not a Texas Ranger here. So essentially it's negotiation skills. Yeah, pretty much. No Negotiation skills and also your skills of wooing the ladies. But I usually go with navigation because it helps to be able to sail better. Because that's what we do, a lot of sailing. Years ago, your family was poor. I'm starving your future. Lay in the new world, the land of opportunity and hope. Entering the Caribbean, a hurricane wrecks your ship. Clinging to a spar, you are rescued by the Spanish. Great, and I'm in English. Hey there, Arctrica. Ha <laughs> Those faces. You're in the endangered to hard labor on a sugar plantation. One day you are, you chance upon some smugglers in a far corner of the fields. They casually ask, When does the silver train arrive at Cartagena in 1620, Mr. Jenkins? Let's see. The silver train. I have the uh, I have the uh, years and names here open. Cartagena. The hen. Sixteen twenty. Cartagena. Cartagena. Okay. Okay. Cartagena. Sixteen twenty. So that will be. You carefully consult your notes and reply July. To be more precise, it will arrive early in the month. Impressed by your knowledge, the smugglers select you captain on the spot. That night you will lead the sturdy band in a sneak attack on the small ship riding at An Angkor. <laughs> Report. Well, that was easy. Just one, one stick of the uh, freaking sword. You sail to a friendly port nearby. A family friend introduces you to the governor. He provides a letter of mark, authorizing attacks on enemy ships. Now you are ready to seek your fame and fortune on the Spanish main. So what port are we at? The sailor master takes you aside. Here in Barbados... Oh, shit. Yeah, we are all the way to the east of the map. It's not the worst place. And also, what did he say about um, how we we're doing? I didn't get to read all of that. Went past too far. Passed too fast. We are at war with the Spanish, allied with the Dutch. Okay, so Spanish, uh, if we ever see a Spanish ship, go for it. Now let's check our information. Do we have a sloop? Usually we do. Party status. 40 men, 10 cannons, a bark. Hmm, nice. 115 days of food, 4,000 gold. I could save the game right away if I wanted to. I wonder if it works. This is a cartridge that I'm using of the game. I mean, it should work. Save this game when? And there we go. Saved fast because it is a cartridge. Uh, let me see the map. We have Nevis in the north and Saint Christophe. The so Saint Christophe is of, of course, French. And this year. 
Well, we should visit the tavern and see if we can get some information about stuff. Look, it's that promising Z-Dog, Mr. Jenkins. A rowdy group of 24 men asks you to join your crew. 24 men, and I have already 40. And we're in a park. I could use the hands. Don't forget to hold your reset when you turn off the game. Oops, wrong system. Do you have the space? I think Bark holds up at least up to 80 men. I think so. So we should have enough. I mean, we only have a skeleton crew of 40. That's pretty much it. It always gives you a, like a skeleton crew to start with. So it's always good to sign up a little bit more men. So 24 is good enough. If it had to be more, I don't think I would have taken them. At war, Kurakao has been plundered. Kurakao, I remember, is over. Actually, I didn't mean it. No, there it is. Yeah. Holland allies with England, a new governor in a... Uh, Puerto Principe or whatever. Well, Principe, anyway. New gold mine at Margarita and Vera Cruz. Where is Margarita? Should be too far away. Uh, no, that was Maracaibo. Now Margarita is actually very close by. We can actually s see if we can get information about Margarita or check the information on it if they have nothing there, like a no... If they don't have a fortress in there, where I'm gonna go right there, right away. Hey there, Pavel. You never been to Margaritaville? Well, I'm not in America, so no. Cities? Anything about Margarita? It's under Spanish flag. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. Doop, doop. Alrighty, righty, righty, righty. Here's the eastern half of the map in case anyone wants to keep track of where I was going. Well, I'm sure anybody can get the map themselves uh, if they want to. Let's see if I need. I could uh, trade with the merchant to get a little bit more of. Uh, yeah, we got 37 tons. A little bit more of food since we hired the more men. Hired more men so we could have a little bit more food. And that's just a little bit. A lot. You likely couldn't find it even with the map. It's right, uh, right on the uh, right edge. At 18 degrees uh, north latitude and 60 degrees uh, western longitude. That's where Barbados is. What? The most eastern town of the whole map. That's where we are. And we're going to Margarita, which is pretty much uh, straight to south. No. Yeah, southwest. West by southwest. That's where we're going. Past Grenada, that doesn't exist in this year. Or maybe it does. Hmm. Whee! Sail ho! Great. We got a sail hooker. Let's investigate. It's a pinnace. That's a small ship. Investigate. It's English flags. Sail away. Sail away, sail away, sail away. Yeah, it says 1600 only. Yep. It would be Granada if it was uh, around. It would be right here. That This little island area here. Right there. I think so. Actually, I'm already past Granada. It would have been the little, little island that we went past already. Because this is where Margarita is. That's Margarita right ahead. Investigate. Another penis. More English colors. Okay. Da 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 Margaritaville. 
Attack! They have only 90 soldiers. And I will take the... Let's see, Rapier's fastest, Longsword has the best... Uh, uh, Cutlass has the best def defense. I don't remember exactly if I got even those correctly. Well, the news said that they have a new gold mine here. It's 10,000 gold that they have here. Of course, I'm gonna go in. Yes, give up your gold, you bitches. The once proud town of Margarita is at your mercy as the remainder of the garrison flees. Your crew begins to round up gold and valuables. Can we also get a, a new governor in here? So this will be an English town? Town has had warning of your ship's approach. Some of their gold has been hidden away. Damn it. How much did we get? Well, still, 3,650. Not bad. I'll take the food and some of the goods. Almost half of the money. Still, I'm happy about that. That was a, that was a good run right away. Let's see what we got. Another bark. Bark, bark, bark. Uh, Duke Delgado. Oh boy. Should we go for a fight? What do you guys think? Shall we go for a fight? Was it Santiago, a famous port known for its abundance of gold? Yeah, and also has three fortresses. It's one of the toughest places to attack in the game. You would have to have a freaking a um, got armada of ships to get into Santiago. Not to mention a freaking army of men. They have like 240 men in the city itself. Not to mention having to get through three different fortresses. So yeah. But Santiago usually has the, the most gold. Another place that has a lot of gold is usually Havana. And uh, also Veracruz might have. Well, they, Veracruz is the other place that has the gold mine. That Veracruz is the most western town in the game. So we will not be spending a, half a year just to get there. Besides, I'm sure Veracruz has a lot better defense than Margarita. So, should we try to take down this notorious pirate, Duke Delgado? You heard it was a heavily guarded Spanish fortress full of riches, which uh, British privateer Henry Morgan famously managed to plunder early on in his career. Yep. A bit rapid fire, huh? Yeah, hmm. I'm not even reading that out loud. I'll just uh, wallow in my sorrow because of those puns. Tora, Tora, Tora! I didn't know I was playing Borderlands 2. <laughs> that's that's also referenced in Borderlands 2. That Tora, Tora, Tora. Close for battle. Let's do it. <laughs> come on, come on, re come on, load, 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 boys. Come on, boys. Yeah. Ramming speed. Uh. Ow. We got some sail damage. That's the noise. The two ships crash together and boarding parties leap over the rails in the swirl and smoke of battle you spot Duke Delgado approaching. This time I'm gonna take the rapier. Haha! Mad <laughs> Didn't even notice how many men they have. I 
I shall win! How about thee? Come on. Damn it. He's getting too many hits on me. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. Come on, give up already! <laughs> Me and my 17 men are going to win! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Give up already! I can win! I've done this before! <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> Captain, we've captured Duke Delgado and 10 gun bark uh, of 60 tons. We have space for 2 tons in the hold. Shall we keep her? Yes. Send in a very pricey crew in there. I have information which may be of value to you. I would be quite happy to enlighten you in exchange for my freedom. Do you ask about the treasure fleet or silver train? <sighs> I think I will ask about, ask about, ask about. Treasure Fleet. It's in Florida Channel. Huh, so it might be uh, arriving in Florida Keys, Grand Bahama, St. Augustine. So it's moving around there in Flor Florida. We need those cannons. We need that Dupeco. All them goodies. And there. Seventeen sailors, yes please. We lost so many. Alrighty, let's see. City, city, cities. What are our English cities? Yulathera as an Iliuthera, as always, Barbados, that's where we started at. Nevis, as always. Then Providence. Where is Providence? I think Providence is also in the north. Just like Just like Iliuthera. Iliuthera. Where actually where is Providence? Barbados, Marina, Trinidad. No, St. Kitts is uh, 16, uh, 1640 is where mostly you have a lot more English uh, English ports. That's uh, St. Christophe, which is the French port. That's tur that turns into St. Kitts in 1640. And then you would also have um, Montserrat, St. Eustace, uh, Eustace and St. Martin, and Antigua. All of the little... and Guadalupe. All of the little islands would have towns just north of uh, Barbados. And there would also be Martinique. So yeah. 1640 has a lot more city, cities and towns on the Caribbean islands. A.K.A. the Lesser Antilles. But where is Providence? Just trying to look for Providence right now, but I... Don't remember exactly where it is. <sighs> Why can I not find Providence? Providence, where are you? I can't find it on the map. I can't find Providence on the map at all. 
Did they forgot to add it? I'm seriously looking and <laughs> not finding. What the hell? It's an island east of Honduras. Oh, there it is. Yeah, now I see it. Uh, it's uh, right in the middle of the ocean. I didn't notice. <laughs> now I found it. So yeah, in this year, in, in the 1620, it is an English town, but in 1640, it's a Spanish. Santa Catalina. All right. So I guess uh, our best bet is to go back to Barbados with the uh, loot that we have right now. Because it's the closest place that we can go to. Other one, the other one is Nevis, right in. Well, if we go straight north, we'll get to Nevis. So let's do that. Straight up north, because with these winds, we will go there fast. Because we know how to navigate, all thanks to our special skill. So it shouldn't take too long. Sail here! Continue voyage because we have nothing. There it is. Yeah, I know we're in English waters, but I just want to continue voyage into Nevis itself. There's two towns. Oh yeah, the Saint Christophe, of course. That's the other town right there. Sailing to harbor. Let us uh, trade uh, with the merchant. Hello there, Ivysaur. Usually I do have a webcam here, but today is just a hot day, so I don't have a webcam. Uh, would I want to sell either one? I mean, if they cannot afford uh, buying all of my stuff. It's only 300 gold. So I'll repair it. Ship repaired. How much money do you have? Yeah, 900. Yeah. Would have been a mistake to try to sell the ship here. Because one, they cannot afford it. And two, they don't have um, money for selling all of this stuff. So this is a very poor town to even sell stuff to. We're not making a huge profit here. So maybe I should try to get this on back to Barbados. At least they had the money. Let's see. Let's see the Saint Christophe. What kind of a city is Saint Christophe? Saint Christophe. 40 soldiers and uh, surviving. Hmm. Not really worth of going there because they don't have any cash. What does divide up the plunder do? You divide up all of your cash with your crew mem members. And then you wait for a couple of months before you start either start another expedition or you just quit the game. I got four over 500 followers? No, it's 497. It says right in the middle of there, Goblin. 497 out of 500. Guessing it boosts their morale? Yes. Actually... Thank you, Ivysaur. Thank you for the follow. Thank you very much. But yes, you do have to divide up the plunder at some point, because otherwise... There will be mutiny. Look at the figures at the top. It says 500. And 3. Huh? 
But my followers on the uh, ticker says 498 of 500. Have I really gone over 500 and I didn't even notice? I gotta check Twitch. Maybe I read the number wrong when I made that followers ticker. Where do I see this? My channel. Well, what do you know? It says 505. Now. <laughs> I've already gone over 500 and didn't even notice. Jeez. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think the ticker broke then. Well, okay. I got over 500 followers. Woo. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna do something here. Yeah, follower goal. And did that. So let's see. The. Followers goal amount 750 starting 505. As it should be. And uh, it should be zero. Thirty-one, two thousand eighteen. Start. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey there, Sharian. <laughs> I pipe, 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 pipe. Time to set it to 1,000. No, 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 750. No, no. Never go to 1,000 right away. Yeah, now it says 505. Yep. Because for me, it said 505. So I'm, I'm going with mine. Should I put on some music into the background? I mean, Pirates doesn't have uh, any... On the C64, it doesn't really have that much music. Well, Goblin, mine says 505. And which one do you believe? The streamer or you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so should I put on some music while we play the game? I don't have the webcam on, Specky, because it's too hot in here and I don't want to wear a shirt. I mean, I only have shorts on and I'm and I'm sweating like a pig. Because it went over 31, it went to 31 Celsius today. Your stream, go as the wind blows. I'm gonna put on some music in the background. I'm not gonna put it up to too loud, and also not too quiet. At least uh, enough that you guys can hear it. Let's go. Yeah, it is hot. In our country, Gabriel, in Finland, you have these... Uh, uh, let me check. I need to check my English take dictionary so I can get this right. <laughs> I actually was supposed to check this earlier because... Let's see. Yeah, it's hot weather heat. There's no word for that. That's not what I'm talking about, Jace. But uh, we do have, uh, in, uh, in when it comes to temperatures and weather in, in general, we do have this... Uh, well, I guess you could say like a heat border or a heat boundary. That if it goes over that, then we have a heat wave 
in the in the country that it counts as a uh, heat wave and uh, in Finland uh, that uh, that uh, boundary is actually 25 Celsius so we're having a heat wave here in Finland right now it's been a it started on a Friday because on Friday it already went up to like 27 Celsius and on the weekend it's been like 28 and now it's 31 Yeah, like I said, Goblin, we right now are having a heat wave, and it's going to continue the next week. It's going to be a heat wave as well. It's not going to go any lower than 27 Celsius, as I've seen from the uh, predictions. So it's going to be hot as hell for the next week for me, and I don't like it. <sighs> Twenty-four men again. Yes, please sign them up. England at war, Spain. Blah blah. Yeah, yeah. New governor in in pr Principe. Puerto Principe. There it is, right in the middle of Cuba. That's uh, that's the place. I wouldn't be able to live with 46 Celsius, Becky. 31 is even, uh, like, barely, barely tolerable for me, because I cannot handle heat well. I get headaches and everything. Like, today, I'm feeling the same way like I was feeling on Friday, having that little gnawing headache in my head. It's not like a real banging headache that you cannot even stand around with that you would have to be in bed all the time. It's just one of those that you feel it and it's like, yep, it's pressuring me, but it's not bad. It's not that bad that I would need to be in bed all the time. It's just the heat. I don't go, I don't get any of that, that I don't get any dizziness or feeling of fainting. Non nothing like that. But I do drink a lot of uh, juice, so. That's what you gotta do when it's uh, hot like this. You gotta drink a lot. So... Can we get more... Nothing happens. Damn. Okay, we're moving on to Barbados. Gotta go back there to... Possibly get some more... Actually... Perfect music for this situation. We're gonna go to St. Christophe. <laughs> Nightmare flowy. Sail into our bill. Hey there, Tanza. Hmm, let's go visit the governor. Over a delicious dinner, the governor offers you a French letter of mark for 800 pieces of gold. Not too bad. I'll take it. 800 pieces is not too much of a pay for the letter of mark. Now that we have the letter of mark from the French, uh, we can... Um, if we see a French ship in while we're traveling the oceans, we can talk with them with, it, with peace. <laughs> Plus, you got a free dinner. Yep. <laughs> Your best nightmare. Undertale has such great music. Another 24. Hmm. I'm sensing that there's a, a pattern with the number. In the dark corner of the tavern, a scruffy pirate... Hey, who are you calling scruffy looking? A scruffy pirate offers uh, to sell you part of an old treasure map for 500 gold pieces. Yes, please. Let's see if I can find. I was about to say, let's see if I can figure out where this uh, treasure could possibly be, and bam, there's the map. I didn't even put any cheats on. Why is it showing it the everything already? Jeez. Well, after visiting Barbados, I know exactly where we're going. 
Oh yeah, it's easiest difficulty. Durr. Of course. Yeah, it's easiest difficulty, so of course it's a full map. If I was playing Journeyman, then it wouldn't then it would have just shown a piece of the map. A one quarter of the map. So now that we sold off the goods and the tobacco. How many men do I have? Let's see. 74 men and they're happy. I could get rid of one of the barks. 74 men is good enough for one bark. It's only a full map uh, goblin when you're playing the easiest difficulty. In later difficulties you only get a piece of a map. You'd lose cargo space. I would. Hmm. Let's see, bark. Mid-sized combat vessel with good cargo hold. What does it show me? Ah, there's some good music. I believe this is Terran. I don't have the Winamp showing, so I cannot see for sure. But this is uh, the StarCraft Terran music. Let's see, maximum crew for the bark is 128. I wasn't even close with the 80. It's 128 in max crew. So we're in, we're pretty much half over for one ship. And we have two barks. So we're way under, way under crewed for two ships. You are correct, Spider. You played StarCraft too much growing up. I played it a lot too, but I was never good at it. <laughs> I do have StarCraft. I got it free from uh, Battle.net. So I'm, I still haven't tried it out, if it works well. I mean, it should work really well. <laughs> Get rid of it then. I don't know. Let's see how much we can sell. How much stuff. I mean, the cargo space is 60? Yeah, 60 tons cargo capacity, and we pretty much have only food and the uh, cannons left. So we could just sell enough food so we have the space. I mean, once you go in here and sell the ship, it, it will tell you to reduce the cargo amount. So let's shell, let's shell that ship. Yeah, minus 28. The game has such groovy music in it. Starcraft, I mean. Let's see if we can get more crew members. Anything? Nothing. Okay. Nothing then. Well, we got the crew, we got one ship. Where should we go? Oh yeah, get that treasure from Panama. Panama! Panama! Oh, oh, ah, eh, uh. That's how the song goes. Well, let's listen to this awesome music. Yep, you got it. It was Van Halen that I was singing. You tried to play SC2 against computer, but I lost to easiest difficulty. You just could not build fast enough to defend the waves bot that was sending at you. Never played uh, StarCraft 2. But I've heard that it's a pretty good sequel. 
Wrong song, Specky, but right band. <laughs> You remember learning how to play that track on guitar several years ago. <laughs> so you could say that the AI DDoS you? Huh? That's the rim shot. I think I just passed Curacao and we should be closing in on Rio de la Hacha. Rio de la Hacha. -cha. Ha cha 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 Click clack I really should get the Amiga versions uh, tracks I mean the C64 music is not bad for this game but The um The Amiga version Music is a little bit better It's pretty much the same, it's the same, same tunes but they just sound better. I mean, right now, if you listen, you can barely hear the other instrument that should be playing there. Let's investigate. Ah, it's a cargo fluid. Cargo fluid has a lot of cargo. It's not. It's a merchant ship. If I'm correct about this, let's see. Cargo fluid. Mid-sized trader with poor maneuverability and speed for its size. Oh yeah, it's also a slow ship. Turns like a Centaurian mud pig. While its cargo space is large, its cannon complement is lacking. Yeah, I think it has maximum of 10 cannons or so. The ship is largely unsuitable as a combat vessel and is sailed only by Dutch and occasionally English traders in the later eras. Huh. So that's a Dutch ship. We're at war with the Spanish, but we're allied with the Dutch. And this is uh, Dune. Easy, because I listen to these Dune tunes a lot. Now, why does it have a 12 cannon windows? Well, maybe then it is 12 cannons. Don't, don't take my word for it. I'm just trying to remember. Sail away, sail away, sail away. So I need to just go pretty much straight southwest, a little bit west. West by southwest. Actually, southwest by west. I think. I really should play Dune again at some point. Because the last time I did that live stream, the game glitched and we wouldn't, weren't able to play the game through. So Panama should be almost straight south from here right now. What town is this thing? I don't want the ships. I want to check out this town. July 1620. Puerto Bello. But that's on 1600, not 1620. At least the map says that it's only 1600. Leave town, please. So let's see, it should be, the map was uh, like right next to Panama. Yep. We got a long walk ahead of us, boys. Should I play the newer version of Sid Meier's Pirates once I've done, once I've played uh, I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream? Because I'm sure I'm I'm gonna play the game through on Tuesday. 
because tomorrow will be Ted's scenario and then it's the uh, final moments of the game. So Wednesday and Thursday are open. Yeah, you've been saying that for ages. I think, uh, well, since I am playing Pirates right now, I just uh, thought about it that maybe I should play the uh, newer, newest, the uh, latest version of the game. Because it's so much fun. Search. And find it out of the How much? 6,000. Not bad. Cacophony. Cacophony. There. <laughs> How did you pronounce that uh, word again? Cacophony. 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 That's how you, how you pronounce it. Cacophony. Cacophony. Let's see my personal status. Letter of Mark, letter of Mark, weary, no title. Wealth, 200 gold pieces. I don't have any wealth. <laughs> Well, the wealth goes up once you divide the plunder with your party. They're still happy and we have 16,400 gold. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. We could go to Providence. It should, it's a right... Of, almost straight up north. It's the nearest uh, English... ...town. So let's go check that place out. Chickity chickity check it out. And hopefully we can uh, get some stuff. I've gone too far to the west. There you we are. Yes, I know I'm at the English waters. Well, let's investigate. Another Kirke fluid. It's English. Sail away. Psh. Sail into harbor. Visit the governor. We are at war with the Spanish and we are allied with the Dutch. I charge you to seek out to destroy our enemy ships and towns. I'm getting a promotion. So to speak. Governor presents you with an elaboratory written royal proclamation. In recognition of our brave and loyal service of the English crown, I do gladly confer upon you the title of Ensign Jenkins. I shall also grant you 100 acres of land in recognition of your noble deeds, the governor adds. Ah! One of these guys. I have recently had news of your long-lost sister. The evil Spaniard Count La Mancha knows your sister's whereabouts. Could you tell me where the, the whereabouts of him? He was last seen in the city of Santiago. Why Santiago? Why? That's the worst place he could be hiding at. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> very, very, <coughs> very lovely daughter. <laughs> very lovely you got there. This <sighs> niddly whiplash wants your attention. <laughs> I thought it was an elder, elderly priest or something. No, that's the ugliest daughter that there is in the game. They have levels of uh, beauty. They have levels of beauty and that is the ugliest daughter. You do not want to propose to them. That does not do, That does not uh, go well with your, you know, reputation if you have an ugly wife. You want to woo the most beautiful daughters that you can find. 
if you want more better reputation for yourselves and larger acres from the governor and all that. It's not that much of an, uh, a thing in this game, but in the uh, in the remake, in the 2004 game, that actually is a big factor. It's one of the uh, one of the. Try to find the freaking word in your mind, idiot. It's one of the goals that you need to do in the game, because the game has a lot of goals that you have to achieve. And one of them is uh, getting married, and uh, to get the best uh, result for it, you have to marry the most beautiful daughter. And then the, that back there still looking at us would not be the best choice at all. Well, you are just an ens and can't hope for the highest ranked girls just yet, you suppose. No, it, it, it's that it, the rank has nothing to do with it. The rank is only uh, only effective uh, when you're trying to woo them and propose for them. I mean, if I because I'm just an ensign with this ugly daughter, I would probably be still I would probably be able to marry marry her right now. Because she's ugly. They're the easiest to marry. But it's not good for your reputation and such. But the beautiful daughters, you want to go for them, but you have to be higher ranked to be able to woo them better. Well, at the first, they do reject you pretty much right away. Right away, but they're the easiest to woo because they're so ugly, because others won't woo them at all. That's my point. 24 men. Always 24. What is that a magical number in this game or something? Is this cartridge version broken in some ways? Or maybe because I'm playing on the easiest difficulty, I always get 24. That should be a random number. Every freaking time. I'll still sign them up, of course. Yeehaw! <laughs> Pirates plunder Nevis. No, not Nevis. That's one of our towns. Yeah, Gavin. Why would you plunder them? They didn't have any money. And Spain captures Barbados. But that... What? Just a... That's... People, we are at war. We're going back to Barbados and we are getting that town back. That's where we started. Those sons of bitches. How dare they? take over Barbados. And also Nevis is now like, probably... They didn't even have any money, why did pirates attack them? This is not going well for the British. <sighs> they have a fort, but only 80 soldiers. We should be able to do it. <laughs> of course, you know, this means war. That's not, that's, I'm not good with the bunny, box bunny voice. Except when I probably do the, uh, what's up, doc. Maybe it's retaliation for attacking that colony you took over earlier. I, I didn't take it over, I just plundered it. It could be any pirate doing that. They didn't know that I was, uh, English. Or maybe they did. I don't know. Backmania, backmania, backmania. Do I have anything to trade? Well, we could buy food at least. So our our men don't go hungry. Check my information. House party status. They're pleased, not happy, but pleased. I got a feeling that I should be dividing the plunder very soon. Well, you're gonna instead glare at the name of Barbados and tell them, You're despicable. They are very despicable because they took the town, and it was our town where we started from. So it's a very despicable for them to do that. 
And they are very diff diff despicable. It's gonna take us a year to get back. Because we're going uh, against the wind. That's always been uh, the most annoying part about the game, because the uh, wind is always blowing from the southeast. On the map screen, I mean. In battles, it can be blowing from anywhere, but always on this screen, it's from the southeast. Nowhere else. It might come from the northeast at some point, but mostly it's uh, exactly the direction that you're seeing the clouds go. I hate it, because it, when we have to go to east, it's the slowest travel ever. But with the navigation skill, it actually is faster. So that's why I take the navigation skills almost always as your special skill. And there it goes. At least I should say that on this map screen, it never blows from the west. I didn't remember I have Kong Strikes Back. <laughs> I hate the game, but the music is fun. It's an ocean game, but I do like it that the uh, whoever made the uh, the Kong Strikes Back title for in the game. It is a stylized the title, and it says Kong Strikes Back. There's no E in the strikes. The webcam is off because I don't have a shirt on, Dos. Because it's so hot today, I don't want to wear a shirt. And without, when, because I don't have a shirt, I cannot have a webcam on. Webcam is fine, it is not broken or anything, it's just not on. So yeah, you're getting a podcast uh, of a uh, gameplay here today. <laughs> it's naked stream. I'm not completely naked. Or maybe I am, but I'm not telling you. <laughs> We're in unknown waters. Let's investigate what we got here. A fast galleon, huh? Okay, let me see. Fast galleon. What is a fast galleon like? Oh, a powerful combat vessel. <laughs> That thing would kill us if I tried to attack, attack it. Let's see... Maneuverability, durability is high... 24 cannons at the max... Yeah, that's uh, the Fast Galleon is one of the best ships because it's got the highest speed. And it turns pretty well. Not exactly the best, but it's a... Uh, Speedy ship. Galleon is, of course, the best. It's the biggest. Can you not sit behind a cover with just your head sticking over the top? I don't have any vests or tank tops. And also, having just a cover in front of me, I don't know even how to do that. And besides, it would look stupid. <laughs> <sighs> For a moment, I thought that would be a pirate. A pirate hunter. Because sometimes, uh, even if you... Sail away, they might still chase you. Would be nice to know where the heck I am, actually. I have no idea. I right, Dutch waters. The yeah, galleon is a freaking uh, slow ship. But they got the most uh, cannons and most crew. So it's a pretty much war galleon is the better warship. Galleon is like between a fast galleon and a war galleon. If you want a fast ship, go with uh, the fast galleon. If you want to be a heavy duty warship, get the war galleon. But if you want something in the middle, get a galleon. Cities, that's what I need. City, city, cities. Curacao. So I'm close to Curacao. 
because that's a that's a Dutch town. Okay, good to know. Now I know where exactly I'm on the map. We're only halfway through to where we're going. Yeah, there's Kurakau. Well, there is no metal war in in the game. At least not in this game. Sail in the harbor. Uh, okay, leave town. Why are they shooting at me? I thought we were allies with the Dutch. What the hell? Time to invest in a Turhapura shirt. I wouldn't even know where to look for a Turhapura shirt. What do you think of this old pirate and the newer one? Both great games? They're both great. You think the war galleon is the man of war? Eh, probably is. <laughs> Allies? No way. I should be. I don't understand why they would shoot at me. We should be. English should be uh, at an. Uh, Allies with the Dutch. At least that's what the news said last time. It could be that there is a war between us now. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check out Margarita here. Although that is a Spanish town. I wonder how well Margarita is now doing since last time we attacked them. And they're struggling, 90 soldiers, but 2,000 only. Apparently they got picked up, uh, their money got picked up. Maybe pirates are in that port and they were the ones firing. No, it said for the fort was firing at us. It definitely said, Mercy, that it's always the fort. If the town has a fort, you try to sail in, the fort will open fire at you. So as long it's not a Portuguese man of war, I hope to God I never come across one of those things. Margarita, the drink? No, Margarita, the village. Margarita, the town, which is right there. I plundered it right at the beginning, though. Because they had founded, just recently found a new gold mine in there, so I attacked the place immediately. Although they had hidden most of their gold, I still got about 4,000 out of it, out of their 10,000 that they had. So not too bad of a beginning for the game. You hear they be washing up on British beaches. Ugh, nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Those Metal Wars are the devils in the ocean. If nobody knows what a Portuguese man of war is, those are the huge nasty jellyfish. As far as I remember. They are the ones that sting the nastiest. They are not good for your skin in any way. I think it more, the Portuguese man of wars actually are so... I think they might be able to actually kill a person. Hey, we're at the edge of the map. Now I know where to go. Straight north. It's basically a colony of creatures rather than one animal. Yep. So if you go in, go in for a swim, and there's a there's some mental wars in there, you're gonna get stuck. And <laughs> was it the Portuguese mental war, which consisted of several different species as opposed to being a single creature? Yep. They usually, usually those metal wars and other jellyfish, they do like to, you know, traveling in groups. A giant floating bladder looks like, looks very pretty, but it's extremely dangerous, yeah. If anybody gets a, like a uh, reaction from, from their stingers, they're gonna die. If anybody gets stung by those, you have to get them to the hospital immediately. Because it's not good for anybody's health if they get st stung by a man of war. So we're getting Barbados back, bitches. Spanish flag. I'm taking that back. Good song preparing to attack Barbados. <laughs> yeah. Shadow of the Colossus. Well, resurrection is pretty much correct. That's what we're trying to do. Resurrect this uh, town back into English. 
Let's see if we get some uh, battle music to go on with the next one. Well, Surger Stripe works well. <sighs> I'm happy with it. <laughs> you heard peeing on a jellyfish thing to cure it is a myth and the urine act makes it worse. Yes. Well, it's not a jellyfish thing, but all it's the um, uh, sea urchins thing. If you step on a sea urchins thing, then you need to pee on it to make it better, but that's a myth. That actually is false. Total false information. And also, if people say that about the jellyfish thing, that is also false information. Pee and urine doesn't do anything to it. It actually might make it worse. So you're correct about that, Goblin. Yep, makes it worse. It's a pure lie. Picture of Portuguese men of war. Yeah, they are very pretty to look at, but very dangerous. Don't get near. <sighs> well, with the circus music going on, how about we attack this town? Why are they on the other side? That's not good for me because I cannot get there easy. Da -da 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 -da. Aha! I hit them. Oh shit, that's going to hit me. It didn't. It's quite fascinating how nature works that way. That it really does look like just one animal, but it's a colony. All in that one bladder gathered together and then putting down their tentacles. Pretty much each one of those tentacles is a different being. If I remember cor correctly. That might hit us. Oh boy. Ooh. Hee <laughs> hee! I think I should get to the shore already. Oh crap. Uh, get out of there! Yeah! Woohoo! Ow! I lost a gun. You beat your ship far from the fort. Your men refuse to march and return to their ships. What? Freaking a-holes. Let's try this again from a different angle. Can the cannonballs go over your ship if they're high enough? You're just wondering how realistically they're pro they programmed this. Uh, they don't really go over. Only if you dodge them, they can go over, I think. It's not very realistically, you know, only where you can't, where you really aim. Can't, I don't even know how to explain it. You know, I'm not tech savvy at all. So don't expect me to explain how this works. Is 
Isn't it great that east is where I need to go and that's where the freaking wind is blowing from? Not to mention it's extremely shallow waters right around the freaking fort. Ah! Mother... Lost eight men on that one. Just give up already. Did we make it? You men scale the walls of the fort. As the battle rages, the fort's commander attacks you with his sword. This time, longsword. Attack! Just give up already. You're not a good fencer. I spare your life, Skutsa. Now back to BMX. Uh, we didn't get. Oh, we got a little bit of gold. Not too bad. I'll take the food. At least. I said the food. I'm trying to get this town for myself and not to, you know. Trying to turn it back to English, not just to rob it. Citizens are quite familiar with recent comings and goings of the prominent princess of Barbados. Do you wish to inquire about Count La Mancha? Avalancha left for Santiago a few months ago. Well, he's still in Santiago, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. And I wasn't able to turn it into an English town. Shit. That means we have to attack it again. <sighs> Investigate, please. A merchantman. Investigate. Spanish. Close for battle. Plus. Rubbing speed! I guess I caught it already. They've struck their colors, Captain! Awesome. Excuse me, they're short circuit. Eight gun merchantman with 100 ton. Yes, send a price crew, please. 100 ton capacity, yay! Kamala Mancha, Same news. 440 gold plundered. Apparently not in not much gold gold, but plenty of cargo. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Plenty, plenty, plenty. And also, why didn't I turn the freaking win amp back on? Pfft. Now you guys can actually see what music I'm playing. I'm an idiot. There, have some crack out. So should I try to attack Barbados again so we can get it back to being an English town? What do you guys think? Five sailors? Take them. Attack! 
You have 79 men and 19 cannon ready for a battle. Winds are light. Which uh, ship will you command? Well, of course, the bark. I'm sailing away. While sailing, aren't you worried about the Kraken? Could you wind change? I don't like it that it's straight from the east. Would be nice if it would be from some other direction than straight east. Well, east by southeast is even worse. Mother. Ugh. Get in there. Come on. No, 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 no. Ugh, they missed. Good. bit tougher this time. Now can I go back to the um, core? Was it core? Yeah, it core. Eat core. Eat core. The town has bad warning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. You didn't have any money anyway. Plunder everything. Now they have nothing. I don't want any news about Count La Mancha. I want to turn you into a freaking English port. I don't know, I don't remember what exactly you, exactly you need to do to get that. So it turns into a British port, or an English port, that is. So I'm gonna give up on Barbados and just go to Nevis to sell stuff. Investigate. A carrig of fluid. French colors. I'll sail away. There you are, Nevis. Whee! November. Shell into harbor. They don't even have a governor here. <laughs> Can't get any info out of people. They are pleased, so that's good. Successfully pillage a city after destroying a significant amount of its defending garrison. The governor will run for the hills and you get to decide which of the four nations to invite to send a replacement. 
I thought I had destroyed a significant, a significant amount of uh, the soldiers. I mean, they had only like 40 left. You know what you, I remembered? In next month, it will be one year since you did your Millennium playthrough stream. Okay. <laughs> I guess uh, it wasn't enough for the governor to run for the hills. It should apply. It should apply. I mean, the gameplay hasn't changed that much. Well, some of the mechanics haven't changed that much throughout the years, so it should apply. Boom. Boom. Ba -dum -boom. Boom. Trade with a merchant. No thanks. I'll keep the merchantman because then it has a lot of space. I'll take all of your money. Almost all of it. Here, have some cannons. Maybe you can build uh, yourself a uh, fortress now. And give me all your food. I'll do. Was Millennium the game where you need to insane amounts of silver for the endgame ship? Yep. That's it. That is it. Trying to survive on the moon and terraform Earth. And in the late game you need silver, tons of it. Visit a tavern. 24 men, please. I need men. Ah! Gran, Gran Granada. That should be a very rich place. Yep. They don't even have a fortress. Ooh. They have a lot too many soldiers, though. <sighs> but Gran Granada is one of uh, the places that is always wealthy. It's hard. It's hard to attack. As well, if I remember correctly, where is Gran Granada? Almost a year since the Millennium stream. Yep. Time flies by. Yes, you have. I have tried, Specky, I have tried Deuteros at one point, but it's... It's an extremely slow start to that game, I've noticed. That you just have to wait uh, to get a space station ready, and it takes such a long time just to grind for that. Oh, there's Gran Granada. Yeah, it's uh, on the other side of the whole freaking country, so that's impossible to attack. You have to attack it on foot. Damn. I've never been able to just to, to do it, to build the whole space station so I can actually start playing the freaking game. So tedious. But I've heard that once you get that in the space station ready and the game really starts, it's a good game. But it takes such a long time to do that. Ah, no wonder Grand Granada is so wealthy. They've got a new gold mine in there. Trinidad, Santiago, Santa Marta. Pirates plunder Santiago? Huh. I think you're more than two years, Peggy. At least two years. A little bit over. You've been watching my stuff. <sighs> Do we have any information on Santiago? Nope. Because it was... Because it was plundered. No info. Man... Meanwhile, you have yet to hit your first. Eventually. You just do it when you feel like it. Don't pressure yourself too much, mercenary. Don't stress too much over it. You only do it when you feel like it. And we're talking about live streaming. Mercenary has had ideas of doing some live streaming. But it's a big step to do. That I do know. It is a big step to take.
first sighting of Specky was uh, December 12th, 2016. So that's uh, over one and a half years then. Not even two years yet. But it's getting close to two years in December. I'm going back to Barbados and I'm gonna attack that place until we freaking do it. Because I want that to be back to English. It's the place where we started from, so I'm calling Barbados our home port. And those some bitches don't take it from us. That easy. Oh, a penis! <laughs> Duke La Mancha! Oh, he's here! We found Duke La Mancha! Attack! Immediately! You're my bitch! Tell me where's my sister, you son of a gun! Eh? That was a hard hit. Get over here, you a hole! Come on, Duke La Mancha. Your ass is mine. Where's my sister? Where are they? I'm turning to Batman here. Wow. He's good. He's too good. He's way too good. I took the wrong sword for this. <laughs> you saw nothing. You saw nothing. I'm coming to get you. I'm faster. And because this time you didn't hit my ship, I have all of my crew. So rapier it is. My men are killing your ass. Yeah! That's how you do it. And then we got Jerry the Germ. Uh, I don't think we need a penis. It's a very small ship. We have 69 tons uh, of uh, space already, so... Plunder and sinker. I hardly know her. I'm getting ahead of uh, Jace. Yeah, you don't get much money out of it, like 500 or so. It's a very cheap ship. But you weren't the La Mancha we were looking for, apparently. Crap. I'll hold you for ransom. Attack! The tap. Once again. Boom, 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 boom. I think once we get to the uh, the uh, part of uh, doing the fencing, I think at that part part at that part, I'm going to be pretty much uh, wailing down 
I'm not gonna be just uh, wailing down on the uh, captain. I'm gonna try to reduce their numbers a lot. Letting my guys fight against them. Well, apparently they got a lot more guns this time. How many La Manchas are there? Fifteen. There's the... The, uh... There is not much of, uh, you know, uh... Imagination to all of the names that the, uh, enemies have. They're men scale the walls of the fort. Alright, let's do this. I'll take the rapier. The rapier. Damn it! You weren't supposed to go down! Yeah, I'm still trying to get Barbados under our control. It ain't working. Ain't working so well. At least I'll take your cannons. Can the governor now flee? Oh, it's Count La Mancha. We call it Duke La Mancha. Still not enough. How about we do this? We attack on foot. Attack! Perfect music. Silent Hill always works with this guy with this kind of a game. <laughs> there we go. And stay down. Now give us the town, damn it. Can I finally have this place? Still got a lot of uh, cannons in there. <laughs> no inquiry this time, thank you. <sighs> Yep. Man, everything's not going my way today. Oh, I don't want to investigate. I still want to attack the freaking town. Dee -dee 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 -dee. No, I don't want to sail into harbor. It's much easier to do this on foot. Bum bum bum, but but but. Okay, countless this time. Let's change it up a little bit. We are here to murder you, so stop fighting. Oh come on! 
Why can't I not hit you? Well, at least my life sword is going through you. <laughs> you lost already? I was supposed to keep you alive. <sighs> this is getting ridiculous. Will you now give me the town? I doubt it. I highly doubt that you're gonna give me... You don't have any gold. Just give me those some freaking cannons. No inquiry. I know he has left a few... God damn it! Should have worked already. Why is it not working? I hate this game. So impossible to do this, apparently. Take the long sword. Will you give us this town already? The city is mine. It belongs in a museum. Wait, what? There. Now you're shaken, not stirred. Could my men start killing them already? There we go. Whoop. Yep. No, you don't. No, you don't. Now they're panicking on their own because there's not so many men left. I'm just parrying and dodging. No, no, you don't. There. Give us Barbados, you sack of shit. March into town is same like uh, sailing into harbor. It's the same thing. You're just walking into town. To visit the taverns and such. Yeah, most of their gold hidden away. What gold? This gold? The freaking cannons? <sighs> I'm done with this place. I'm so done with this place. Let's forget it. We're not gonna get this to ourselves. The game just doesn't want me to conquer it. Well, to take them over, you have to plunder them. But the game just doesn't want to let me... ...take it over. Now it's gonna be on the news that Barbados has been... And ...pirates plunder Barbados, pirates plunder Barbados. Pirates, plunder, Barbados. It's all the news that they that the world has right now. Didn't you have more citizens last time that I visited? Or is it now that you have more? Hmm. We're at war with the Spanish, allied with the Dutch. Yeah, allied with the Dutch. And when I went to their town, they freaking shot at me. Assholes. Well, now we're Captain Jenkins. That's why the Jace already put up, Tanza. We already know that information. 300 acres? Woo! That's a lot of land. Okay, you. Where are you? Ah, Major Montalban this time. So where are you? In the city of Rio Hacha. Rio de la Hacha. Well, at least I know where that is. Oh, she's pretty. Not the most beautiful, but she's pretty. I'll just make some uh, pleasant conversation. <coughs> Now let's check our information. How do my... How does my party... Yeah, unhappy. Yep, 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 yep. 
And also, I just visited the governor. Why couldn't I give the uh, pirate that I have with me for ransom? Huh. Oh well. Trade, trade with a merchant. Not gonna sell any of my ships. But I do have a lot of cannons to sell. Let's see, I can hold the 16 on the on the uh, bark, so I should have just 10 as a uh, plus. So that'll do. All the food. And I don't want to sell my pack tobacco to you. Actually, I'll buy all of your tobacco. So I'll sell them elsewhere. <sighs> Come to think of it, they are very unhappy. And uh, next step would be angry, and then it would be rebel they would be rebellious. And there's 82 of uh, the crew. So dividing up the plunder right now would actually score me a lot of cash for the next expedition. And I get to, get to keep the bark or the uh, merchant ship. So do I want to divide the plunder now? Or do I want to risk it going after Major Montalban? To find out about the, uh, my sister. It's always a tough choice, especially right now when we are doing not well with the party. All of my sailors are very grumpy. Because we only have been attacking one town and not getting any money out of it. It's a tough choice. Tough situation. Yeah, I don't want the crew to be angry. Yeah. I mean, it's a long way to get to Rio de la Hacha. Anyway. So they would probably do some mutiny along the way. Now, we've got 20,000 gold right now. That's why they're so angry because I have all this can all this gold and they're like he's not sharing he's not sharing the gold that son of a bitch So it's better to just you know do the sensible thing and divide up the plunder Are you sure you want to divide up the plunder? Yes. Amid great anticipation, the plunder is counted and divided. Each crew member's share comes to 200 gold pieces. Most of the crew feels quite unhappy with their portion. As captain, apprentice of the party, you receive two officers' portions totaling 1,000 gold pieces. The crew swaggers off to squander their hard-won gold. The local taverns resound to the din of drunken sea shanties. <sighs> Two hundred gold pieces, that is really not much. No wonder they feel quite unhappy. Maybe I should reload. And we just go onto the oceans and if we see a ship that is uh, a Spanish ship or anything, we'll just plunder it. That'll keep them happy. While we make our way to Rio de la Hacha. I think I'm just gonna quick load and we're gonna do that let's make our way to Rio de la Hacha to find that uh, the major asshole and along the way no matter what ship comes again comes uh, during our comes against us during our travels we shall just go for it plunder everything and also, while, while I'm at it, why not just try to attack a town? Uh. 
Who's down is Hacha? Spanish. Everything on the southern on the uh, southern uh, land is pretty much uh, Spanish. Of course, I'm doing chanties. I'm on the sea, Zirlan. Another boat. Another bark. Hmm. It's French. Hmm. Hail for news. Pirates plunder Santiago. Malaria strikes Santa Marta. The end. Well, nothing has been happening in the past uh, two months. I haven't played the remake on live streams, but I have played it on my own. It's a great game. I'm gonna be playing it later. Jay's uh, pretty much uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. mercenary made that joke already. So what town is this? This game any fun? Of course it is, it's Ryer. Ooh, it's Dutch. This is the one that shot us last time. I don't know why. Can we sneak into town? Yes. Good. Visit the governor. We are allied with the English. Yeah, you should be. Then stop shooting at me. Like you did last time, you asshole. Little Mark. Yes. I'll take it. February 1621. Visit them. Anything? Nothing. Ha! That's interesting. Nothing happens. No, I do not care to sell any of my ships. <laughs> it's a good thing I kept those tobaccos then. Here, give me all your money. Jeez, this place is rich. Well, not rich, but they have high prices. Man, I really need to start plundering some ships and sell all the goods and tobacco in here. Especially the tobacco. Gotta keep that in mind. Curacao is the place to go for some tobacco. All right. I wonder if I can check information about the other towns that are near... Other cities that are nearby here. Like Corro, which is right to the south. Not much of a town. Forty soldiers. Hmm. I think I'm gonna attack Coro and see if we can take that over. Leave town. Roll call reveals that six crew members have deserted. Duke La Mancha jumps overboard and escapes! Fine. It's a loss for those six men because I'm attacking Koro. A merchantman. Dutch. Sail away, sail away. Investigate. A bark. Captain La Mancha, he's chasing us, Captain. Well, close for battle and take him out. Let's do it. Well, he's stuck in the ocean because he doesn't have a wind. <laughs> that was close. Get over here. You're not going to get away from me. Come on. There we go. Get over here. Right here. You've got more men, but I've got better determination. Yeah, give up already. Eh, 
And now for the fans. I mean, another bark it might be good, but we don't have the manpower for three ships. So, just plunder and sinker. Yeah, you might have some information, but... Actually... Hmm. Tell me about the silver train. It's in Peru, so it's not even here. Okay. Almost 2,000 gold. Plundered. No tobacco, though. No need to go to Curacao right away. I'll take the food. Yes, please. Not really sure if this uh, peaceful tune is perfect for the situation that we're gonna attack this uh, Spanish town. <laughs> what? No, not click clack. I would I would have played this if I had taken Barbados over back to the English. So why is your crew unhappy? We attacked one place all the time, so that makes the mom happy. You gotta have some variety for them to do. Like attack enemy ships and then attack towns and such. Variety is the key to keep them happy. And once you have accumulated tons of gold, you go into, uh, into a friendly town and then you divide the plunder because they want the money. And the money is theirs. But we're gonna attack this place. Might be a possibility that we might be able to get this in to become a um, English town because this is so small. I mean, they only have, well, 39 now. Are you really sure you want to attack me? Hmm? Ah, hmm, ah, hmm, ah, <laughs> One more stab at you and I will win. Are you sure you want to do this dance? I ain't no ninja, but I can fight like one. Almost all the dead, all the men are dead. He's still trying. There, one man left. <laughs> if I don't get this to be ours, then something's wrong with the game. <laughs> No money. Well, they had tons of goods. Which I can't get because I don't have the cargo space, of course. Can I now turn this? Why? 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 Is it because I'm playing on Apprentice difficulty? It doesn't allow me to get that? <sighs> Oi. Oi vey, I say. Oi vey. Doesn't make any goddamn sense that it doesn't allow me to... ...switch sides for it. Oh, English. Hail for some news, then. Pirate Splendor of our crews. Good for them, I guess. Okay, how's the party doing? Are they still unhappy? Yeah. 
Don't worry, men. We're getting close to this a-hole who has information about the uh, whereabouts of my sister. Marquis van Ruyn, a Dutch notorious pirate. Close for battle! That doesn't hit. They're in a much better position than I am. Yes, I'm going pretty much against the wind. Now they're trying to escape. Now they put back battle sails? They had full sails there for just one second. Yeah, full sails when you have lost a mast. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Struck their colors. No plunder and sinker. Because we really don't have the crew power. Yeah, like I, I already said, Jace, that is a Dutch pirate. Marquis van Roon. Mm, I'll hold you for ransom because we have that uh, Curacao, which is a Dutch town close by. Oh, that's okay. Forty-one sailors! Yes, please! Although that's not really making everybody else happier because of more crew. Well, we have two ships and I need all the crew that I can get. There's the Rio de la Hacha. I should check if I have information about the town to see what it's like. The sailing master warns you, the men are growing restless, Cap, and if you don't find us plunder soon, we think they'll mutiny. I just took out a freaking pirate ship. Just not got getting enough money. Rio de la Hacha. One fort. 14,000 gold. 14,000 is a lot of boot. Totally a, a lot of booty. Let's take it. Like it says in a one Commodore 64 game, George! And also, hi, Grumble. Why am I waving to the webcam when the webcam isn't even on? I just did a wave to the webcam. <laughs> that shows how used I am to the webcam. <sighs> well, well, now we got some CNC going on then. Attack the uh, town. Could you add a charge sound effect? Well, yeah, sure. If I can find which game it was from and add it. Oh, it's from uh, either Face Off or Blades of Steel, the Commodore 64 version. I am English. I am British. And I'll choose the bark, of course.
Could have been worse, you could have waved a couple of plushies in front of the monitor. <laughs> True. It's like, hey everybody, they're here! Oh wait, you can't see them. Well, I only got Blob Ross here with me. All the others are hanging on the couch. Ow! Son of a... That would end. Uh, I was going the wrong way. Dear, dear, dear. Come on. Reload, 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 reload. This is like Virtua Cop. Re no, actually, that's the uh, House of the Dead. Reload, reload. Huh. <sighs> Maybe you need to wreck their fourth first before landing. No, that takes two. That that's not one of the points of uh, turning a town into your um, well to get to choose the uh... English is a language. That's all I'm gonna say because I can't think right now. My brain is just too fried with this heat. I can't even speak. I'm sure Time Crisis is not the only one in which did that. But it is also in Time Crisis. Reload! Reload! And actually, that is from Time Crisis that I was thinking of. Now let's back up, back up, back up. There we go. They couldn't handle my chaos engine. There we go. The once proud town of Rio de Hacha is at your mercy as the remainder of the carries in flesh. Yeah. The group begins to round up gold and valuables. Now all the 14 is ours! Yes! <laughs> that should keep the crew happy right now. Because we got it all. Man, they have tons of stuff. <laughs> tons of stuff here. I'm gonna take most of your... At least uh, as much as I can get of your tobacco. So I'm going back to Kurakao, where I can sell it for 100 gold pieces. Per ton, that is. If the crew is not happy after this kind of a situation, there's something wrong with them. Oh, Jason, you nobody's gonna understand that. Well, except for Zirlan and Dr. Dose. They're the only ones who would get that. Don't do any Finnish jokes here. Because it's a it's in the Finnish is a language, but it's not the language that everybody understands. Citizens are quite familiar. Huh. Oh yeah, he was supposed to be here. So where is he? Santa Marta. Santa Marta Perkere. Oh, that's the uh, next town. You'll be glancing over the wiki for Pyrus and they say several things sh should have been locked for options like the era and the sword choice. Might be an issue with the program. Several things should have been locked for options. What do you mean locked? But every Finnish word sounds funny. Kurakaivo. So let's see our part. Let's see the party status. They're still unhappy. Yeah, we just got fourteen thousand gold pieces, and they're still like, arr, 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 arr. freaking sea dogs. 
Salty scurvy sea dogs, that's what they are. Well, since we're looking for this guy who has information about my sister, he should be in this town. That's what they pointed me towards. A fort. We'll be doing so well, let's attack this one as well. See how much, uh... How much gold we can get out of this one. Whoo, that was close. Turn, you son of a... You played this game a lot for a lot of hours back in the day, but you have no recollection of any story about your sister. Well, you need to find the guy who has the information about your sister. The Atari ST version, though, might be different. No, it shouldn't be different. That actually is uh, the main quest in the game, finding your family. Well, for one, it says that the Apprentice difficulty locks you into 1560. For another, it states when playing on Apprentice difficulty, the game will not let you choose a sword prior to any fencing match. You will automatically use a long sword for each battle. But we are playing Mercenary. That is only for if you don't take a specific time of, of history. Where we took a specific timeline, so that that doesn't affect it. But if I just had took a started an expedition, but not chosen a historical part from the game, then that would affect it. There's nothing wrong with the game. That's just if you I would have played it from the beginning, so to speak. So there's nothing wrong with the game, Mercenary. Nothing wrong with the game. I'll actually take the longsword. Oh look, they're already shaken, not stirred. What about the sword choice? Like I said, we have taken a historical part of the game. We didn't start from scratch. So that's why we have the choices of the swords. Because once you choose a specific uh, historical period, everything is unlocked. My Batman. That didn't work. Well, how about I'm Spider-Man? That didn't work. I'm Batman. That worked. <laughs> I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. 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 Oh come on! Freaking hell! That was just the best part of the Batman tune, and you come in. Yeah, that's what I was doing there, Jace. Batman! Batman! You were just trying to solve the town issue, and then you conquered that town, and it invalid invalidated the reason you were looking. Sorry, didn't mean to burn time on that. It's okay. It's okay. I just got a little bit confused what you were putting up there, and then I had to explain to you how, why this, uh, everything works here. Only because... Uh, ah, we spot the evil Spaniard Major Montalban sneaking out the back entrance. He draws his sword as you rush after him. Where is she? 
Now it's appropriate because we're looking for our sister. Where is she? Come on! Son of a... Where's my sister? You bitch! Tell me! Let me know! I want to find her! You killed my father! Prepare to die! Does that work? Leroy! You are a skilled and an able swordsman, I will tell you what I know. Your sister is held captive on a remote plantation. This man may help you on your quest. I better. I'm no captain, mercenary. We are a captain. I am Captain Jenkins. You kidnapped my sister. Prepare to die. I gotta say it in American style, of course, because I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> so, where is she? Map to lost sister. Hmm. Let me see. She might be on somewhere on the shore of Cuba. The other place where she might be could be close in the Hispaniola. Uh, let me see what other place she could be at. I'm judging from those. There is some water over there, so that's why I think it should be either or. It could be south of Havana or in the uh, in the vicinity where Yaguana is. But Yaguana is only 1560, so that's why Yaguana wouldn't be there. But she is on the spot of the town. But then again, there shouldn't be... Yaguana shouldn't be there because there's so much shallow water. So right the south of Havana is the strongest guess where it could be. Dramatic music, you win the fight, the evil Spaniard smirks at you, suddenly silly lemmings music. <laughs> Do you need all four pieces of the map or can you rescue her if you figure where she is before you have the whole map? The latter one. It's any map. If you find, uh, if you can figure out where it is, uh, even if you have just one, one piece of the map, you will find it. Be it a treasure or a location of a family member. And once you know the whole game, you can easily figure out where these uh, places can be. So, I'm guessing the same thing that Jace is guessing, that it's uh, right of south of Havana. That is the most... Uh, pretty much the best place to look for right at the get-go. Know if you were able to find her before finding a single piece of map, if you got lucky? <sighs> That would be impossible to do. That would be totally impossible to do. But as far as I know, it might work. But you would have to go every square of the map to try and find them by luck. Yeah, you would find also treasures along the way. But I don't know if, it, if that actually works. I think you need to get the first piece of the map to be able to find the treasure or a family member. I'm, I I don't think it works like that, Jace. I think that they only open once you get the map. At least that's what I'm thinking. But you can check it out, Jace. Just uh, start up the game uh, on the Bizhawk and check out if it points out where treasures are on the map. Go for it. I'm also curious now. Can you guess who the evil Spaniard portrait reminds you of? Besides the Mi Gusta meme, you mean? No idea. It wouldn't be that easy if you'd guess the several days of research, yep. I mean, it's a big world in this game. But I'm sure with the, with the uh, tool-assisted things, uh, it points out where they are. Freaky Fred from Courage the Cowardly Dog. Eh, there is a little bit of similarity. Yeah. 
Never seen cowardly... Curse the cowardly dog. Never seen it. Myself, that is. Alright, we got some money. But yay, we have the first uh, piece uh, for finding uh, family members. Woo! Continue voyage. Because now we are on our way back to Curacao. This is from Fallout 2. This is the new Reno music. Gabriel, why? Why? Why, Gabriel? Why? I mean, I'm trying to play a game here and now I got a grinning man staring at me blinking. It's not gonna help me navigate through the waters here, man. So thanks for that nightmare. Keep typing text, people, so that image goes away. Because it really is uh, not helping. Well, at least it's not the creepiest face ever. I've seen a lot of... M there are some things that creep me out, but that's not it. A grinning face like that is not one of the things that creep me out. It's a little bit disturbing that he's just grinning and blinking. Almost there. Huh, <sighs> made it back to Curacao. I so said this time I'm also gonna sneak into town. Thank you. Visit the governor. Well, creepy guy is gone on my screen now. Thank you. So, you have brought the despicable pirate Marquis van Ren. The king will be very pleased at this news. Yay, we are Ensign Jenkins with the Dutch. Both mercenary, both. But the creepy guy is now gone. On my screen. 150 acres, nice. So this guy has uh, information about my long lost sister. Admiral Delgado. <coughs> Excuse me. And Santiago again. Everybody hangs out in San Diego, apparently. Alright, let's trade with the merchant. Let's see how much money we can get. They look totally, uh, totally alike. Eh. Man, it went down to 80. Well, at least we're getting a lot of cash. We got tons of money. But we cannot divide up the plunder here because this is not an English port. So I guess I could go to Providence. To divide up the plunder there. Closer to Mr. V from Vendetta. Yeah, actually it is closer to V. Much closer. The Guy Fawkes mask. Malaria strikes at Puerto Cabello. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Nothing happens. Got it. Unhappy. <laughs> I'll save the game. Because we got a long travel ahead of us. We're going to Providence.
Leave the tune. It's pretty much something we need to go west. Go west, there is providence. When are you going to sing Drunken Sailor? Uh, after the song is over? I don't remember the lyrics at all, so don't expect me to be singing it, just the humming. I could do the humming of the tune, but don't expect me to sing the tune. Anybody else ever played a pinball fantasies? If you have, what's your favorite uh, table? Is it Pardland? There's Providence. I know we're in English waters. Well, let's investigate anyway. A pinnacle. What do we have? Just English colors. All right. You played Psycho Pinball. I wonder if I played that. You stuck with Epic Pinball. The tunes from Crash and Burn Enigma were awesome. Sailing to Harbor Place. Alright, visit the governor. Let's see what we get other than news. Army. Sparkle, sparkle. Better Major Jenkins. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor early in the morning? The evil Spaniard Duke Montalban knows of your sister's severe bits. Rio de Hacha. We were just in Rio de Hacha with the petite No, you're, you're missing the most beautiful woman in the world. <coughs> the governor's daughter is overwhelmed by your charm and wit. She agrees to gather information for you at the governor's house. Oh, <laughs> oh thank you. <coughs> at least it's just information, nothing else. There's a, she has liver issues, her skin is all yellow. Nah, she's a Simpson character. There's nothing wrong, wrong with your TV. I don't need anything from you. Why did I even come here? Those graphics aren't very flattering to that poor woman. Well, the uh, artist wasn't very flattering to the woman either because she is ugly as he. <laughs> ugly as <laughs> You survived the meeting with the daughter without vomiting. The governor gives you a raise. <laughs> that should happen when it's the ugly daughter. Uh, turn them away. I don't want to grab more crew when I'm about to divide the plunder. New gold mine at La Vega. Uh, that's far away if I remember correctly. Let's see. La Vega, La Vega, La Vega. La Vega, 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 yeah, it's on the northern part of Hispaniola. Yeah, that's pretty far away. Hard to travel there, too. Ah, Intelligent Cube. I really should play that at some point on the live stream. So I can show off the game to people. Where this awesome music is from. You really wouldn't imagine that this uh, awesome music is from uh, just a simple pla platforming puzzle game. Not even platforming, it's just a puzzle game. But you really wouldn't think that it's from a puzzle game. This music. So 
Well, let's check our information one more time. 99 men who are not happy. All right, divide up the plunder. Let's see if they're still unhappy of their share. Right. 320 gold pieces. Pleased! They're quite pleased. Yes, that's what we want to see. And I got two officers' portions because I'm now a captain, so I got two almost 2,000 gold pieces. Speaking of music, which is, which are more than you'd expect from the game style, Bit Trips. I haven't seen any gameplay of Bit Trips, but I'm sure they have a lot of good music because pretty much the music is part of the game, as far as I know. But that is what I like to see when it says quite pleased, at least. So that means that they're happy with their share of gold. <laughs> Bit trip runner is so frustrating. <laughs> I don't think I would like that game. Because of what I've seen is it, what I do know is that it is a like a constant running platforming game where you just need to dodge and jump over stuff just like <sighs> there is, there are other games like that but I just can't remember I know I just see the game in my mind but I don't remember the name of the game don't know what kind of blad is or kind of bolt you remember seeing the ass for the game Intelligent Cube? Never got to play it though. I got to play it a lot on the PlayStation. I enjoyed it. it, it Intelligent Cube is an interesting and fun game. That's an endless runner. Ah. But I, it's not an. I. The bit. The uh, bit trip runner is not an endless runner, but it's an automatic runner. That's what I was thinking of. But not an endless runner, but an automatic runner. That you have no control on the speed, but you have the control on the jumps and the do and the dodges and everything. So I was thinking of uh, another game that is like just like that, and everybody has played it, and it's the most frustrating game ever, at least from what I've seen of the gameplays. That everybody hates that game because it's so frustrating. Just can't remember the name of the game. It's an it's a simple geometry dash. That's the name. Geometry dash. You're just a cube jumping over triangles and such. And the only control you have is just jumping. But you have to time everything perfectly. So yeah, we have now divided the uh, booty. Pretty much it would be a good place to end the stream right here. I mean, I could plan another expedition, or I could advance to journeyman level, make the game a little bit more difficult. Or I could just retire from privateering, never found my family. Never having found my family and almost having no reputation with anything. <laughs> Will I be continuing this? Nah. I just wanted to play this just for fun. So maybe I should retire from privateering and we can see the ending, so to speak. Wipe the music for that game. No, don't start playing it now. I'm gonna play you as the ending tune. You can complete the 2004 version in your next series. Oh, well, that will take a long time, but why not? I could do it, easily. At least try. I've never actually played the game through. I've gotten close, I did get the the best marriage, I found the most of the treasures. The only thing uh, that I lacked uh, from uh, completely playing the game through was uh, defeating um, all of the pirates. I didn't get to number one pirate. There's a first time for everything, yep, there is. But for now, we're gonna retire from privateering. Are you sure you want to end the game? Yes. One moment, please. Dot, dot, dot. 
the further adventures of Pirate Jenkins. You achieved the title of an English major and Dutch ensign, making you a little known member of your community. You accumulated the sum of 2,460 gold pieces and 750 acres of land during your career, making you a very poor man. Your exploits on the high seas leave you with a reputation as a competent and active captain. You retired from privateering at the age of 26. You were unable to find a bride. You become a contented and cheerful man. Contented. Your pirating days are at an end. As a result of your seafaring exploits, you become a sergeant. Huh. So I became a soldier. Not bad for an ending. 15 out of 100 points. <laughs> Unbelievable how they managed to squeeze all this into 64k of RAM. If you get a wife, you get depressed. No, if you get a wife, you will actually get better pirate points. That's a, that's the whole point of getting the most beautiful daughter as your wife. Because it will add to the pirate points. All of this has an effect on the ending. And to get what get and to get English, it's a language. And to get the 100 pirate points, you would have to do everything in the game. And that means finding finding yourself the most beautiful wife, uh, getting a, to be a general, I think, if the general is the highest rank or admiral, the highest rank for all of the, all of the uh, countries, not just your, your own English, but you have to get the Dutch, French, and Spanish. Yes, even the enemy. Have to get the highest rank for all of them. Then you have to find all of your family members. And that is the longest journey in the whole game. You have to find all of your family members. That's your sister, your father, your mother. I think there's grandfather. And somebody else. And that's five family members you need to find. Might be little brother or something, the last one. One of the life outcomes is bigger, by the way. Yeah, that is a zero out of 100 pirate points. You have nothing. You, the, I think the only way to get a beggar if you start the game and you retire immediately. Having done nothing. You have no money, no nothing. But yeah, to get the 100 po pirate points in this game... Takes a long time. Very, very long time. This is a very long game if you aim to get the 100 pirate points. And it's not easy. Not easy at all. This game is so difficult if you aim for that. It's a lot easier on the uh, 2004 version. Except for wooing the... Uh, Wooing the lady to become your wife. That is not easy. Those. Those. Damn dancing sequences. Right, Goblin? The dancing sequences. I'm sure Goblin knows what I'm talking about. Oh. But anyway, thank everybody for joining this uh, webcam-less version of a live stream. Those dance sequences aren't as bad as you initially thought. You used to hate them. Well, once you get used to them, they're pretty easy. It's just all about reaction time. The girl gives you hints. Yeah, you gotta really gotta follow it. But sometimes just the... Uh, the sequences last for so long, you just want it to end already. That's the most annoying part about them. That they, sometimes they they just go on for so long. It's annoying. You used to trip up constantly even on easy mode. Me too. Because I wasn't used to it yet. But once you do, it's uh, not that bad. But it just can take so long. It just depends on which dance you get. There's uh, several versions of the dances. That it's a... Uh, just depends on which tune they decide to dance to. Now, one of them is a really long one. 
I made a complete ass of myself in front of her. Ah, don't we all? Well, thank you again for everybody to joining uh, this uh, webcam list stream. Tomorrow, I'm sure I'm gonna have a webcam again. I'm gonna suffer through this heat wave somehow. But that's until then. So you take care of yourselves and remember, don't wear up your don't wear out your invisible thumbs because I cannot show them right now. But remember to, not to wear them out. And remember to spread the love and split the booty. Indeed. <laughs> Go buy a tank top. <laughs> well, anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow for more. I have no mouth, and I must scream. <sighs> So until then, take care, guys. Bye. We'll count the thumbs on the pick on screen as your thumbs. Thanks. Even though he's not showing any thumbs. <laughs> uh, take care, guys. Bye.